we got an electric trailer jack. We ordered this from Harbor Freight. Was 129, I think. And there was a, I ordered online and had it shipped. And there was a, I found a 20% off code to use. So we are going, we got it for shipping and everything. It was like total of 116, I think, something like that. We're going to put this on the cargo trailer. All right, so when you open the box, you got your mounting bolts with washers. You've got your inline fuse that you wire into. It, it is only a single wire, so it will be grounded to your trailer. So having an inline fuse is very important. Uh, I'll show you how I do all this. I'm gonna snip it and then put it in line. Um, comes with your emergency, if your power did, you know, your emergency jack handle. Um, has two LEDs, one on each side for light. That's your button for that. And then of course your little up and down switch for your up and down. If you have level ground, you can use jacks to hold this up. Uh, we, it's not really setting on level ground. So I actually just hooked it up to the vehicle that way when I take the jack out, it's supported and it won't roll away. Um, it looks like three nine sixteenths bolts hold that in there. Um, I did PB blast them because I mean they do get rusty sitting back here getting all the rain and stuff. So hoping these will bust loose pretty easy and I'll pull this jack out. Yeah. Okay, so when I tried to pull this thing up out of the hole there, these flanges were kind of bent out, I don't know, from years and dents and stuff. So I actually had to take a hammer and kind of flatten them out and then beat it upwards and finally it popped out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bare metal this because that motor on that electric jack actually grounds to the trailer. So I'm gonna bare metal this and then on the jack, I'll bare metal the uh, one of the holes that actually line up with this one. That way, when I bolt it down, that washer and the nut or this bolt and everything will ground to the frame. in there now when I like I said earlier I'll take some of this paint off around here and that way when I bolt it down it should ground good metal to metal contact now are you gonna take the paint off the top part or I'll the take bottom? actually I'll take the paint off the top and the bottom good okay. point that way it's making a metal connection all the way through okay so
Okay, so in the kit, it does come with these uh, nylon inserted nuts. Um, I guess some trailers, you need the nuts on them. Um, this particular trailer and the couple that I've seen are already threaded, so you just need to put the bolt in there. The bolts are to be torqued down to 20 foot pounds. Well, they say 15 to 20. I always go a little extra, so probably 22. But, <laughs> but yeah, just make sure you get them nice and torqued down. Okay, so your little inline fuse wire comes already joined like that. So what you do, you actually cut it in half. Like that. And then you take your black wire that comes from the motor and you tie it in to this side or either side and then this one will actually go to your power on your ba on your uh, battery so always always use your inline fuse uh, I think it's a 30 amp fuse uh, regular little cylinder glass fuse but you know just in case um, also a lot of people put a uh, 12 volt switch in between so you can actually turn the battery power off to the jack at this time I'm not going to do that I'm going to see if I get any kind of draw if I do get a draw then I will install a switch um, but at, right now I'm not going to so so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get these in stripped use the splice connectors or butt joints however you want to put it and I'm gonna wire it up and see what it does Okay guys, so I did end up having trouble getting it to ground, even with the sanding all that off, and I still wasn't getting no uh, ground. So I ended up ring clamping it and running it directly to the ground um, terminal on our batteries. Um, now, just a disclaimer, if you guys don't know anything about electrical, please don't do this. Um, you know. I've got a lot of I've got some schooling in electronics and stuff like that, so that's the only reason that I even mess with this stuff. Um, but you know, if if you think you need to have it done by a professional, definitely have it done. Because yeah. uh, this it, it can be dangerous, and you know it is kind of a fire hazard if you don't do it right. So make sure you do it right and safe. Mm -hmm.